the game to see the boxing boys. Fernando Pimentel of TheBoxingBoys.com here with Oscar Valdez. Oscar, talk to us about the total domination and destruction of a very incredibly durable ex-world champion, Gradovich. Tell us how you did it and how you prepared for it. I mean, we got, I'm happy right now that we got the win. First of all, thankful, thankful to, to God. And um, obviously, I can't take all this credit by myself. You know, I got a great team behind me. My father, Frank Espinosa, Manny Robles. I think we all did our jobs. My job was to work hard in the gym with Manny. And we showed it this night. You know, I'm... I didn't expect a knockout. I was well prepared to go all 10 rounds with Granovich. But, um, you know, I got the knockout, so I'm very happy for that. And, you know, can't wait to go at it again. For someone who was an ex-world champion, do you feel he was actually more easier than hit than you inspected? I mean, no fights are easy, but um, we studied him. Matter of fact, I've been studying him even, even when I got the news that I was going to fight him. You know, I, I study all the fighters around my division. Is it 122, 126, or 130? I see around the other area. And um, I knew who Granovich is, and I know I know how he's gonna fight. So I knew exactly what he was gonna do. So we trained very hard in the gym, specifically for Granovich, and um, we did exactly what we had to do. Now with this win, you move from prospect to actual challenger. You know, Lomachenko, there's Walters, there. You know, Bob Barham has said that he would like to work with PBC, Santa Cruz, Mares. What names are you guys, actually, you out there, looking for after this victory? Uh, all of them. Well, I mean. I got nothing, nothing personal against none of these fighters. I admire all the, whatever they've done. They got the belt. They got the belt because of something, because they work hard and they fought for it. And um, I want to have that belt too. So either one of those guys that has those belts, if it's Gary Russell, or Moshenko, Los Santa Cruz, Guayar, all those big names, Lee Selby. I mean, um, I will more than, I'll be more than happy to fight with those guys because I want to be a world champion. So to fight the best, to be the best, you got to fight the best. And those are guys are the big, the, the big ones to go to. Talk to us about the experience about fighting on such a big event, you know, Timothy Bradley versus Pacquiao, the third fight. Talk to us about fighting on this event. Well, I mean, I'm grateful with Top Rank and Bob Barron giving me this opportunity, HBO, because it um, uh, means a lot to me fighting this card. You know, I admire Timothy Bradley, obviously Pacquiao, what he's done in, in the boxing world, and getting the chance to fight in his retirement means a lot. Now, there was a lot of crowd here, and I think I got a lot of love because of Pacquiao and Bradley. Because of them, they, I, they got the chance to see me. So, um, you know, it's a great experience, this. This is a great experience. I'm living a dream right now because I dreamed of this when I was a little kid. And I'm, I'm just going day by day, enjoying every moment. No